Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're taking a look at Whippersnapper with the new Adafruit Cutie Pie. Whippersnapper now has support for Adafruit's newest Wi-Fi board, making it one of the easiest ways to do IoT projects. The Adafruit Cutie Pie now comes in a new flavor featuring the ESP32-S2. It can also run both Arduino and CircuitPython. Here's how to set up the Cutie Pie ESP32-S2 with Whippersnapper in Adafruit I.O. Go to the Quick Start Guide and scroll down to the installation page. In the Download section, click on the Download button to launch the release page on GitHub. Scroll down and look for the UF2 file for the Cutie Pie ESP32-S2. Double press the Reset button to get the board into bootloader mode. The NeoPixel will turn green when it's ready. Then just drag and drop the UF2 file onto the USB drive to automatically flash the firmware. Using your favorite text editor, you want to edit the secrets JSON file with your Adafruit I.O. and Wi-Fi credentials. Then hit the reset button once again to get the board connected to your Wi-Fi router. In Whippersnapper, the device is automatically detected and you'll have the option to rename the device. You can easily connect this temperature and humidity sensor using Stemma QT. In Whippersnapper, click New Component and select the AHT20 sensor. Then select how often you want to send and receive data. And that's it! You can see the raw values in the device page and start logging data in a dashboard. We think it's the quickest and easiest way to get your IoT projects up and running. We designed and 3D printed a SnapFit case to house the Cutie Pie and a Stemma QT breakout board. The bottom cover has a built-in holder for the Cutie Pie that can be secured without any screws. Just insert the board at an angle and slightly bend to snap fit the PCB into the corners. It's easy to plug in a Stemma QT cable on the back of the Cutie Pie and connect the sensor without having to solder. You can use M25 hardware to secure the Stemma QT board to the case. The top cover has several vents that can be used as mounting holes so you can secure the board in different orientations. The bottom cover features similar slots so you can mount it to either the top or bottom. There's also mounting tabs on the case so you can use them to attach it to another surface. Just snap fit the case over the cover with the opening lined up with the USB-C port. It's really modular so you can easily customize it to fit your project. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.